hey what's up hi thank you so much for clicking on this video really excited about this studio vlog i learned to screen print that was a whole process i got some new stickers so yeah i hope you enjoy it i am a huge stationary mail junkie so any excuse to buy new stamps i will hop on it so i saw these skateboard stamps and i had to i had to hop on them I also got these National Marine Sanctuaries ones. And then of course I got some mariachi to rep my heritage. I also got a second set of these mariachi stamps for my grandma for Christmas. If I had more money, I would have ordered like a billion sheets of the skateboard stamps because they are so cool. I got a phone charm order. I don't get them very often nowadays, but I do have fun making them because I just think all the beads together look so pretty and I love the idea of somebody getting to get a little charm to put on their phone because my phone charms make me happy. So I ran out of packaging, out of my black packaging, and I had to use some of my old pink ones that I had kept just for memories. I reordered the same little black mailers, but they did sell out of the bigger ones, which I knew was going to happen because I feel like everybody always sells out the bigger size of the star mailers from Inspired Mailers. Like, I get it, but it's a little annoying. Just a little bit. Here's a quick little what sold on Depop. I sold these Miss Me shorts, love the studs. My beloved trip corset that I never ended up reaching for, so beautiful. This high quality Tommy Hilfiger cardigan. Some cargo shorts. Some cargo capris. And last but not least, some stickers. Thank you so much. It has become very clunky and bulky to look through everything to make jewelry so I am kind of just going through and picking the beads that I don't really use and I'm gonna make some bead soups. I need a couple pieces. Because I was like, I'm gonna do some shopping for my glow up. Didn't find anything. I just bought random crap. I used to when we're older, and 
more about. These are so cute. Look at the black. Oh my gosh. Tell me that's not dope. Let's do black. My little emo heart. What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I feel like you need this. Oh my gosh. They have stainless steel jump rings at Michael's. 200 of these little ones. And then one of the big ones. I'm really excited about this. I also got some chains, some black jump rings, and black lobster clasps. So I'm editing this video, right? And the clips are from several months. And I get to this specific clip and I notice instantly I'm talking like 80 miles per hour when normally I'm like a 5 miles per hour talker. Like I talk really slow. <laughs> And I was like, she's caffeinated. I know she's caffeinated. And then at the very end, I see my little straw and I'm like, I knew it. She's caffeinated. Hi, today is Tuesday, January 9th. I'm not wearing concealer right now. I don't, I don't feel like putting on concealer today. I'm about to go to the post office. It's already 4.18. The post office closes at 5. I have a couple of like big packages today so i get to use multiple tote bags and i love that because i have a lot of tote bags so this is like an excuse i literally will have like four tote bags with me and i love it it's so fun so um today's tote bag choices i think that would be really fun to show you guys like my tote bag choices of the day i guess um i have my nirvana tote that i got from 21 and then this Alice one that I got on Mercari. So, yeah. I love the way this color looks with this. Ah, it's so cute. And then we have to come back and take product pictures because I made so many new phone charms in the past couple of days. Hi, Diesel. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> This is so funny. Cut my life into pieces. So for taking pictures of jewelry, I have this box that I got at Walmart. It has a little hole on top for putting your phone in. And then there's a light. Here, let me plug it in so you can kind of see. I'm gonna um, weigh the beads. I put them in this little Ziploc baggie. Uh, I'm not really sure why the girlies do this, but I see other people do it. So I'm gonna <laughs> include the weight, I guess, so they can get a good idea. Cute, I guess. <laughs> okay, I just finished taking all the bead soup pictures and now I'm going to write the little titles of the bead soup on the baggie because I think that would be really fun. I was debating what bags to put them in, like I'll um, bubble wrap, whatever Ziploc bag I put them in. But I thought this was kind of fun because these say Texas A to B on them. So I figure if somebody orders these from another state, like that's kind of cool, you know, if I order something from like Ohio and it says Ohio on it, it's probably just me that cares about that because I love mail. Like mail is my love language. <laughs> um, so, now it's time to take pictures of the jewelry. I only made two necklaces. I made this one. It's kind of like one of those clutter beaded necklaces. It's not wire links like I normally do, but I did use wire just because I trust it a bit more than string. Here, like I'll put it on for you. I also used a big clasp. I used to love using these. Isn't that so fun? The pictures I've seen of you guys wearing my necklaces make me so happy. And then I made one that's a bit more my style. Has a lot of my favorite beads on it and it's just this black. Has the wire link style I normally do. It's a black star girl necklace. I guess the other one's a pink star girl necklace. I really like this. With this outfit, I might make myself a matching one. Okay. That is so cute. Wait, let me put it tighter so they can lay right. Okay, that's so cute though. Like stacked together. <gasps> that's so cute. 
That is so cute. So yeah, I made two necklaces and then I made three pink phone charms. This is the design I've made several times before. I just made it in my new style. It's not wire wrapped anymore. Now it's just little links. And then these two are new. This is just a little bunny. This one's inspired just by candy looking beads. Like, don't these beads all look like candy? This is a black version of the other one. I've sold many of the pink and white versions, so I thought it was time to make a black version. I like the way the three stranded ones look. And then here's a black and white version of that bunny one. And here's a simpler Vivian one, because the girl that asked for a remake, she wanted one that looked like this, but I don't have the other beads. So we'll see, maybe she'll like this one. And then here's a little bunny. So for Christmas, I got a Michaels gift card from my suegro and after thinking a lot about what would be the best use of the money, I remembered that I've always wanted to try and screen print, but it just seemed like such a daunting process to take on and you need a lot of supplies that I do not have, so I used this gift card to kind of get me started. I watched a couple of at home screen printing videos, not a couple, I watched a lot of videos and I decided to do the method that Chiz does things does here on YouTube. I bought a couple of canvases and cut out the canvas so that I just have some wooden frames. I thrifted some sheer mesh curtain fabric and I used this heavy duty stapler that I got with the gift card and I'm just stapling that mesh fabric very taut onto the wooden frame and then I am cutting it off and duct taping the edges just so that I don't get any blisters from the raw wood. This is the most frustrating part about trying to make anything new. When you have like an art shop and you want to make things, normally you run into a lot of issues before you finally understand. Like it's lots of trial and error, you're wasting lots of resources that you spent your time and money to get. So um, that's what happened here. I got this speedball paper and I was already kind of concerned because I'm like, I don't see any directions on it and then I printed several times guys it, it must have been like three four times and it just wasn't drawing and I didn't know what I was doing wrong because in my head the coated side was the shiny side but maybe it's obvious to other people and not me the coated side is the non shiny side <laughs> lol I'm dumb I don't know I just feel like the shiny side is usually faced up but yeah so I tried putting tape over it to help it dry and it just really messed everything up like bad but i did print it again i also should have known that this was the coated side because i accidentally got it wet and it started looking weird so i mean now it makes sense to me that was the coating kind of coming off because i wet it so yeah now we can stack them and make sure less light gets through in the darker parts before I continue with this process, I kind of wanted to just show you everything I'm using in case you are kind of curious. I assume if you're watching a studio vlog, you are kind of curious. I'm so excited about this, like so excited guys. Like if you were to tell little Kaylee that she would have high quality manufactured stickers and screen printing, I, what? What? I guess we'll start with the stuff I got at Michael's. The most important thing I think is the Speedball Photo Emulsion Kit. I watched um, Chiz Does Things video on it. They also make their own designs and sell them on their Etsy. So they made like, it's a really 
good length video like it's not too long not too short and they link a video they watched so i'm gonna link chiz's video down below and i just watched those two and i got exactly what chiz got so and then i got two speedball screen printing inks and then i ordered these squeegees i got two sizes because i wasn't sure so i think these are good uh these are specifically for fabric um, to DIY the screens, I got this heavy duty stapler and she's mentioned to get extra staples because it doesn't come with a lot. So I got the extra staples, literally was following their tutorial like <laughs> to the T. So yeah, and then I got, I got this curtain fabric, she said anything see-through. So, so I got that at the thrift store on like a sale day. So it was only like $2 for the full curtain. And I thought it was two curtains, but when I took it out of the washer, it was only one curtain. So like, what? Anyways, maybe that's why it was only $2 because it was one curtain, like not even a set, just one. I'm so excited. I'm talking really fast. And then um, I got a pack of canvases. And then for the image itself, I showed this right now already, but I got the Speedball screen printing inkjet paper and then i used some clear tape to tape the two transparency sheets together so that less light could go through here i am mixing the photo emulsion and i did it so wrong like so wrong you see how it's teal it's supposed to be green so i had to email them and they told me that i didn't mix it well enough and uh, had to go back and remake green screens later but yeah look at that mess too okay guys take two got a new box <laughs> threw away the other one. <laughs> oh, now we're getting somewhere guys so i'm gonna let these dry in the dark just have them like that I was showing you my screens. <laughs> um, these are the original screens. This one looks terrible, but the image seemed to burn on a little bit better. So I don't know, maybe I needed maybe a thicker layer, but the screen making process is so tedious. Yeah, that definitely looks green. Okay. Um, um, oh yeah, this is much better. Oh, there's some sensitizer not mixed in well. I'm finally changing the username on my business cards. I accidentally deleted the file that has the layers, so I'm just doing it in this silly way where I'm coloring over the old username. So, that's fun. So this is how my first screen came out. It's not great. <laughs> also, it looks like the chunkier parts of my screen were not fully dry, which really stinks. So I think I underexposed it and then I didn't let the screen dry enough. I guess I didn't do as good of a job as I thought I did coding the screen. So today's Saturday, the next day, and I decided to let this screen dry a bit more because I know I have some thicker parts, like these dots. Let it sit outside for a minute and 20 seconds today instead of the original 50 I did yesterday, and it started coming out really well. The only issue I ran into was I started getting a little impatient with the water, and so I started using my finger to kind of press a little harder and scrub and that's when I started getting blowouts everywhere but honestly this is not that bad I think I'm gonna try it one more time I think I could still save this screen if I use screen filler and just like fill in the blowout parts like some parts didn't really come out at all like right there I 
um i look like a wet dog because i just got out of the shower but i got a package i'm so excited i have like chills probably because i'm cold actually but today is thursday january 24th 25th i think i think it's 25th i think yeah i guess um let's open it up okay so this first one i have is it's a little raccoon i've been talking about them a lot on my channel like in regards to fashion and like the winter and rodent infestation so yeah i don't know i think raccoons are really interesting because they're so cute yet like they're so dirty and kind of dangerous if they have rabies so yeah I thought it was cute. I, I gave it the little eyebrows <laughs> and a little bow to make it more cutesy. The next sticker I have is... Oh, this is my first glitter sticker. This is so fun. It's a lot smaller than I expected, but honestly, I think it's really cute still. So it's that bunny skateboard that I have on the back of my business card. Yeah, I think this is really fun. Whoa! And like these two together. That's a vibe. I'm so happy. Okay, wow. Whoa! Okay, the last sticker is fan art. And this one has Finn on it. Oh. Okay, I'm happy with these. I'm so excited. I just love glittery stickers. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I'm going to add it to the spreads. Okay, here's the raccoon spread. I think it's so crazy seeing the, the sketch to the final product. This was the sketch, and then this was the final. Oh my gosh, it looks so good here. So little stars. I have some pens from my pencil bag that kind of match the stickers. So I'm going to take some product photos, pens next to the stickers. Cause I think that makes the most sense. I feel like we have to put these on the board like Tell me. Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, I'm gonna do that. This part of the process is so fun to me. Oh god. Oh my gosh, I love it. It looks so good, like this whole, oh my gosh. I, I'm screaming. I'm, what? I have used three of the raccoon and three of the skateboard stickers within the span of like 20 minutes so that's a good thing i think oh look i'm eating one of those snacks i think i've shown these a couple times specifically in my studio vlogs um they're really nice to snack on while i work why surprised me with three of them earlier this week he got me a minecraft one a bluey one and then a paw patrol one and these ones have cheese it's the bluey ones have like gummies and some little cookies and then the paw patrol ones had like cinnamon and cinnamon cookies and gummies i don't know so today is kind of an interesting lineup of sales i sold two things on depop one thing on etsy and then one thing on mercari but i think it's good to diversify i think that's the word I'm looking for. Because on Etsy, I sold a sticker, which makes sense. Etsy's known for art and handmade goods. And then on Depop, I sold two pieces of clothing, also makes sense. And then on Mercari, I sold a makeup item, which makes sense just because Mercari, I feel, is more for like all sorts of goods. Clothes also sells on Mercari a lot, but um, if you're trying to sell like miscellaneous items, I feel they'll sell better on Mercari than they will Depop since Depop is 
so heavily clothing based. That being said, I have sold stickers quite a bit and um, some different art things on Depop. So I did end up selling, um, I assume by the time this video comes out, my Twilight makeup collection video will come out. Um, I mentioned I didn't like this <laughs> highlighter, so I ended up selling it for just a couple of dollars over retail. I couldn't bring myself to try and make some sort of profit on it. Um, just wanted to kind of get my money back on it. And then on Depop, the clothing pieces that sold was this Hollister baby doll sweater. I love this one so much, but I never reached for it because I haven't been wearing a lot of white and cream. So this is very Bella Swan-esque to me. And then the other piece of clothing I sold is also very Twilight-esque. It's a older Hollister piece. It's a little pea coat. I list this as like Edward core. Yeah, and then the sticker I sold was one of my Adventure Time fan art ones. It's the Jake Popoy sticker. This is a sticker she bought. <laughs> I love this one a lot. And also while I'm here mailing stuff, I'm gonna mail in my voter registration. I am 22. I don't mention it a lot on my channel just because, actually I don't think I've ever mentioned it on my channel <laughs> because I feel like older people tend to look down on you if they know you're younger. I mean, I know I look younger, so maybe people already look down on me, but I feel when you tell somebody your age, they kind of have this conception of what what a 22 year old should be or should not be. And I know in a lot of ways I act really like immature. And when I look at other YouTubers that are my age, like Luna Montana and Ilea Devora, um, Emma Chamberlain's like a year or two younger than me. Tara Yummy, I think is one year older than me. Ali Perugenen, she's the same age as me, I think. When I look at all of them, and how like confident and comfortable they are in their like womanhood and then i feel like people that are younger than me maybe will look down on me if you know they're more successful than me and they're younger than me or things like that you know i just don't want there to be comparison and for people to kind of judge where i'm at but yeah i'm 22 and i've never registered to vote there's a deadline to register to vote so even if you don't end up voting at least register so you know you can because if you don't even register, then you don't even have that option when it comes time to vote. Does that make sense? It was a super easy process. It took one minute. <laughs> Just look up your state, register to vote. And I think the deadline's February 8th. I think this should come out before then. Something else I need to do ASAP is to make an Excel spreadsheet to which I've been putting off <laughs> to do my taxes. I did one last year and my back hurt so bad after sitting down. I did it all in one sitting, which I think is my fault. And it was really hard because I didn't have all my receipts. But for 2023, I did keep all my receipts and I kind of know um, what receipts I need to look up virtually on like Amazon or sticker app or where else did I shop from? probably Bai when I sourced from Japan, things like that. It's funny talking about registering to vote and my taxes while I eat this little kid's Minecraft. I don't even know what this is called, snack pack? <laughs> See, this is what I was saying. This is why nobody believes that I'm over 15. You know who else loves apples? Easy. Hi, <laughs> today is Sunday, January 28th. I'm trying to save my screen. Look, <laughs> it's not great, but it's not. You know, it's not terrible. <laughs> okay, this first one like gave me hope. Like that's not that bad. But this I can't really I mean it doesn't look that bad actually. It looks kinda kinda grunge. But then here, um her poor eyebrow. I mean I think what I'm gonna do is remake remake the three screens so that I can try again to 
get a better screen so I don't have to use the glue because I can tell when I was rinsing off the ink the glue wanted to come off too so yes Here's the gray shirt. This one came out pretty close to perfect, honestly. Here's the white one. This bottom one came out kind of thick, so I'm just gonna have to fix the top one to kind of match. And then I'll probably put like a star up there, so it's kind of like, I just felt like one little tiny thing in this big shirt felt weird, so I'm gonna add something else there. I made a bunny one. This is the same bunny that's on the stickers. So that's really fun. And this one, I burned it for 50 seconds, 54 seconds, something like that. And it came out crisp and clean. It's pretty much perfect. There's like a tiny little, tiny little blip, but this line thickness was perfect and i think that's where i messed up with this is that i didn't draw the lines thick enough went to walmart i got printer paper i literally have no paper in my printer that's it i finished all my printer paper i got some insures <laughs> i'm the pickiest eater ever so yeah i really like the pecan right now i like the vanilla one as well but something about the pecan it's just slightly more savory so I got spicy ramen noodles. I love these so much. I told myself I wasn't gonna eat anymore, and then I was craving them and really sad that I didn't have them. So I got them. I'm probably gonna eat one right after this. Then I got two little cotton quarter yard squares. They didn't have any black. Whoever took all the black, I will find you. Menstrual complete pills. These are my lifeline when i'm on my period so i run out of those some thumbtacks why it breaks our thumbtacks and then last but not least i got some valentines i'm not going to show them because i'm going to show you them in another video but yeah that's everything i got I also went to the post office to drop off a couple orders and a girl commented my domo bag. I thought that was so fun. I'm gonna take off my spikes. If you made it to the very end, you're super awesome. I feel like doo doo today. I've been editing this video for a couple days now and I'm almost done with the rough cut. So yeah, I hope you're doing well. Um, let me know what's happening in your world in the comments. I would love to know. See you later, bro fist.